Now, with grocery prices on the rise, making tasty, budget-friendly dinners can be a struggle. But by bulk buying one protein for the week, you can save money and spice things up in the kitchen. Mm, don't we all want to do that? <laughs> to show us how Ooh. is clinical nutritionist Sarah Di Lorenzo. Good morning to you. Good morning. Today's recipes can all be made with mints, can't they? So yeah. mm. where do we start? OK, they definitely can all be made with mints. And the thing about using mints is, I just want to mention, is that chicken and turkey mints are actually cheaper now than beef. Uh -huh. What I've done here with this first recipe is I've made what looks like a fabulous Italian meatball dish with the mince I used. I used the three star mince and basically with that I just grated in some vegetables and I, which was the zucchini and carrot and I added Ooh. some onion, rolled that together with some oats to bind it. And then when, because I used the three star mince I just cooked those uh, meatballs, put them to the side so that the fat would dry out because that's the mince that's the cheapest but it's got the highest amount of fat fat and then what I did to take it to that next level nutritional benefits is I used a pulse pasta. Pulse pastas are made from chickpeas, lentils, beans and peas and it's a great oh. way of getting more protein mm. into the diet and a higher amount of fibre. Topped off together or and then mixed together with the, with the pasta sauce, topped off with some parsley with all that gorgeous antioxidant support and some parmesan yeah. cheese. Um, different types of mints, it's good that you, uh, you talk about that. Um, back in the old days when we were doing doing it tough, yeah. we used to buy sausage mints. Oh wow! And that was okay. that was the cheapest. We used to make a thing called sausage slab. Yeah. And you could feed a family of six for about two dollars. Yeah. Uh, right. And it would last for days because it would keep repeating. So Is it the slab like a meatloaf? Yeah. And like you put meat... bread in it and you mix it yeah, with the bread yeah. and the meat. You make sausage, sausage mints. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, and that was the cheapest <laughs> mints around. I've learned something new. new. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure it was healthy, but. <laughs> yeah. you Sausage yeah, well, with sausage mince. Oh, yeah. there you go. Anyway, yes, I've done that too. Yes. That's a good one with a good yes. quality sausage. You mm. can, yeah, definitely. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the meatballs, shall we, Sarah? Okay, so great. So I've done a turkey rissole here. Love using turkey. Great source of tryptophan, but also the B12, which is great for, um, it's great for supporting blood and nerve. But what I did was I just threw some ginger in there and some garlic powder and made these gorgeous rissoles. But what I love about this recipe is the slaw that I've done when I've just got this gorgeous mix. I've got some mm. curry powder through yogurt and lemon with some um, sultanas oh, in there as like well. It looks like It does and it's just <laughs> and basically on the bottom these cute like baby gem lettuce leaves can make it just great for just a hold. You don't have to use plates and the curry powder is very anti-inflammatory. So love this recipe. It's cute, delicious and something fabulous to do with turkey. And as we heard Nat likes Bit of spice in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. So you've done a kofta. Yeah, That's I love a this kofta. I'm, right? I'm just going to act, yeah, definitely. It feels like it's exotic, but you yes. know what? It is the easiest thing to do. I love using um, spices. There's five different spices in here because they do accelerate the nutritional profile of a meal. Really easy to do. You just mix the mince together with the different spices. I've got cumin, paprika, I've got some cayenne pepper in there, coriander, as well as cinnamon. Mix together, you just squash it down on the skewer, and then I put that under the grill. You could cook it however you oh. want to and then I've done it with a gorgeous oh. yogurt um, you dressing. You could do that on the barbecue? Absolutely, oh, yeah, yes, definitely. I've yes. never made them mm. but I love eating them. Yes. I can't tell you, you yeah. think that oh, it's too hard but it is the easiest thing possibly to mm. do, I promise. Okay. okay. And uh, finally a chicken dish. This is a miso chicken, I love this. I think this looks aesthetically just so gorgeous and it looks restaurant standard but it is mm. really easy to do. I've just basically a broccolini on the bottom and I've done this gorgeous chicken mince over the top with miso through it which is great for gut health um, wonderful for immunity Honey. yeah and then I've put over the top some almonds a bit more omega-3 chili to boost metabolism but there you have a great sort of deconstructed recipe with chicken mince so I like the look there we that. have 101 but things to do with mince <laughs> that, is, that is too good mm. to dig into it looks oh, fabulous yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bit proud of that mm. right yeah, now so you should be <laughs> yummy yeah <laughs> okay thank, thank you, you so much thank Sarah. you thank and you. you can find all those recipes over on the Sunrise website